Hi guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be about the disappearance of Patty Vowan. I really hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. So I just wanted to do a quick little disclaimer before I start this video. I mean absolutely no harm or disrespect to anybody involved in this situation. This is just information that I found online and I'm just putting into one video to share to you guys. So in 1985, Patty and J.R. Vowan got married to each other. They had three children together. However, after 12 years of marriage, Patty actually filed for a divorce in October of 1996. After this, J.R. actually moved to his own apartment in San Antonio, Texas, but Patty remained in their marital home, which was in Lavernia, Texas, with her three children. So after this, Patty actually started to reconnect with her first love and fell in love again. They were just a normal happy couple, and people say that Patty was actually the happiest she'd ever been while she was with this man. On Christmas Eve of 1996, she took her new boyfriend and her three children to her auntie's house. She she had already planned beforehand to spend Christmas Day with JR, who was currently her husband as the divorce hadn't been finaled. So she planned on spending Christmas Day with him, uh, their three children and JR's family. And they were going to spend Christmas Day all together in their original marital home in Lavernia. Um, so Patty and her boyfriend actually made plans on Christmas Eve night. However, JR found out that Patty and her first love had reconnected and were together again and they had a massive argument on Christmas Day which caused Patty to get into her van and drive away from their home and that was actually the last time she was ever seen again. So Patty's van was actually found on the 26th of December, so a day after she disappeared and it was found 15 miles away from their home in Lavernia. It was actually found on the side of a road with a flat tire. However, investigators found that the air in the tire had purposely been let out. Inside the van, there was actually traces of blood in the carpet. However, they found that somebody had actually tried to shampoo the carpet to get the blood stains out which is of course very suspicious. In 2012, the blood was actually put through DNA tests. Um, I'm not really sure why it wasn't done in 1996, but I guess the technology back then wasn't as good as it was um, in 2012. So the blood was put through DNA tests and they found that it didn't belong to Patty at all. It did belong to a woman, but this woman had no relation to Patty whatsoever. So, of course, the investigators went to Patty's house in Lavernia to see what they could find, and what they found was blood everywhere. It was all over the floor and walls of her bedroom, bathroom, and her closet, and was actually found on a mop, which shows that somebody tried to clean it up and this blood was proven to be Patty's. So this is where things start to get a little bit strange and people start to question JR's involvement in Patty's disappearance and possible murder. So on Christmas Day, the day of Patty's disappearance, the last day she was ever seen by anyone, JR actually moved back into their marital home where Patty was living in Lavernia, but the weird thing is he had actually told his landlord months and months before this day that he was going to be moving out of his current home in San Antonio. So this kind of raised suspicion as to whether he knew this was going to happen, um, because why would you tell your landlord you're going to be moving out on Christmas Day or around Christmas and like where you're going to be moving as well? It just seems a little bit odd, especially as your, your I mean, still wife at the time, but she had, Patty had filed for a divorce. Like it was very clear she didn't want to be with JR anymore. So why, why would you say to your landlord you were going to be moving in with her? It just seems a bit weird. JR also filed for a divorce on the 26th of December, so the day after Patty went missing he filed for a divorce, which of course got people a bit suspicious of JR, because it just seems like a weird thing to do, like yes, she had filed for a divorce, like yes, she didn't want to be with you, but she was still your wife of 12 years, you had three children together, and she had just gone missing, so to file for a divorce that quickly just seemed Odd. So two months after Patty's disappearance, 
Patty's mother actually burst into JR's home, which was, of course, he was living in their marital home in Lavernia. She actually burst in there with a baseball bat, obviously thinking that he had involvement in Patty's disappearance. However, at this time, especially, there was no evidence whatsoever that he could possibly be involved in any way. Um, so he actually ended up getting custody of the children and moved them away. He took himself and his three children to live in Colorado and said that Patty's family was not allowed any involvement in the children's lives. They weren't allowed to see them, talk to them, nothing. Another strange thing is that JR agreed to take a polygraph, which is like a lie detector, but he never showed up for it, like he never turned up to do that test. Patty's boyfriend um, did take the test and he passed, proving that he had nothing to do with Patty's disappearance, but the fact that JR didn't even turn up for the test is again very suspicious. So although this um, case isn't solved to this day, which is so sad, there is of course one massive theory that JR was involved in the disappearance. Um, a lot of the evidence does point towards him, but there's no conclusive evidence enough to kind of say you did it. So people actually believe that JR had help in Patty's disappearance and possible murder, especially from his sister Marilyn, which might explain the blood in the van as it shows that it came from another woman who had no relation to Patty, so it could possibly explain the blood, but obviously we don't know how that blood got there. So around the same time as Patty's disappearance, JR was actually the project manager of several um, dig and pour sites, so kind of like, I guess, concrete filling sites, I don't really know how to explain it, um, but just companies that would kind of fill things with concrete, if that makes any sense, I'm not sure. Specifically the one in Italia High School, which was in Divine, Texas, which is 59 miles away from um, their marital home in Lavernia, which is of course where Patty was living. So many people actually believe that Patty's remains were either under the school grounds, so in the concrete, or under the marital home itself, because there is actually an eyewitness to this case. One of their neighbours said that he saw late night digging on the 25th and 26th of December. The 25th being the last day Patty was seen, but I couldn't really find anything else on this online which is kind of frustrating so I don't know what came of that um, eyewitness um, and also like some of the sources I found didn't include this so I don't know if that's true but I thought I would just include it um, but yeah that's actually it for this case it kind of just ends there like I kind of couldn't find any more information on it which is so frustrating um, but that's the way it is with all of these unsolved like disappearances the information just kind of stops at some point so yeah who knows what happens i kind of think jr did have something to do with it i just kind of think he's a very like suspicious character um just some of the things like i do i think the evidence that they do have does point towards him being involved but again yeah we we don't know what happened so yeah that is it for this video that's it for this case um i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it interesting in some way um i actually enjoyed researching this one like i find these so interesting so i'm definitely going to be doing more in this 12 days of christmas conspiracies series so if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below especially so you don't miss the rest of the 12 days and yeah I hope you are having a lovely day and I will see you tomorrow for my next video. Bye guys!